Welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. Today we're cooking on the Blackstone. So let's get this thing going. Uh, for the first video on my Blackstone, I got a little backstory for you. Uh, when I was going to get this Blackstone, my brother-in-law, Robert, he wanted to get one too. So uh, when I ran over to Walmart and grabbed one, I sent him this picture. And then about two hours later, he sent me this picture. And uh, the other night he came over he wanted the fish and chips, the fish and chips that's listed on Blackstone's website. So we followed that recipe and that came out wonderful. So hey, check okay, this out. Okay, now we got it Here's started. We For these fish and chips, we're just going to set the uh, temperature to about a medium. And we're only using the two left dials. Uh, that way, so when we're done, we can slide stuff to the right and keep it cool. That, that setting right there will get it up to about 400, but once you put your food on it, it'll drop it down to about 350. Okay, so Good I didn't film uh, cutting the french fries or the chips, but uh, here they are cut up. We're going to throw them right on the griddle. Okay, we've got the griddle oiled up, and you just <laughs> toss your french fries on there. Spread them out a little bit. It's just like that. You just get them coated with the oil. We're using canola oil. Just get them spread out and let them cook. Let them go for a few minutes and keep an eye on them and flip them. And yeah, they start getting all golden brown like that. Oh, look at that. Mm. Yeah. That's all you do. We pile them up, let them cook, make sure they're done. Look how golden brown they are. And that's it. Now we're going to slide them over to the right-hand side and get okay, the fish so my brother-in-law got a little ahead of me. He just got some flour, baking soda, Old Bay seasoning, cornstarch, and some beer for this batter. Look at that. We're using Heineken today. And since we're kind of making a double batch, we're going to add a little bit more beer to it. Just checking the consistency right now. Get it all stirred in. Mm. Nothing like a good beer batter. And about half half of a beer. Another Heineken. We'll just drink the other half. Okay, now that we got that all whisked up really good, we're gonna get our fish here. We're using uh, cod today. We just put it in the beer batter. Let it soak in there. They'll all fit in this bowl, no problem. And now we're gonna get them out to the grill. Got it preheated to medium hot or medium heat. Just throw them on there, it'll drip, it's okay. All those uh, drippings will become little pieces of batter and those taste good too. I think we got about eight or ten pieces here they fit this 36 inch grill no problem We've already got our chips our fries done up they're sitting on the other side of the grill waiting staying warm just flip them over man that almost looks like a pancake batter mm, gotta add a little bit of oil under there You'll see when you pick them up, it looks a little bit dry underneath. Just make sure you got another a little bit of oil. You want to make sure you get underneath there too and get your batter up. You don't want to leave any behind. Put a little oil in between them. Mm. Okay, keep flipping them. You don't want them to get too burnt on one side. There you go. Okay, right down here at the end, we're gonna add some salt on this uh, fish. Gonna flip them over. And then we're going to get some more salt on the other side and then uh, let them go for another minute and we'll pull them off. 
If you don't like salt, you can leave it off, but uh, a little bit of salt on fish and chips is delicious. Look at those. Mm, man, look at that. Okay, so these are just about ready. We'll get them off here in a minute. Well, we didn't have any tartar sauce, so we're gonna make our own. And this recipe is super simple. Got a cup of mayonnaise, two teaspoons of pickle relish, a teaspoon of yellow mustard, and a teaspoon of lemon juice. And that's it, good to go. Okay, let me dip this fish into our homemade tartar sauce and give it a try. Mmm. That's really good. Okay, fish and chips on the Blackstone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the bell. You know the drill. See you at the next video.